Hello, welcome to this uh, latest screencast. So, um, this is the uh, fourth in a series on Have You Met Miss Jones? And so, in this video, we're looking at the last eight measures of the form. And uh, so, what we're doing is uh, taking a look at some voicings. Um, how they move from one another, and also taking a look at uh, some scales. <clears throat> so let me uh, line up the F note here, and um, we'll begin talking about, um, well, doing some analysis of the chord changes. All right, so we're in F. And so F is the one chord. All right, so, um, so I'm going to spell out an F major scale. I'll start with the uh, chord tones first. Move up from there. All right, so in F major scale, that's F Ionian. And let's pick out a chord shape here. All right, so there's our root note the third, the seventh, and the ninth. And I'll highlight these over here. All right, so next up, we're look, so that's a one chord. Next up, we're looking for uh, B flat seven. And that's going to be a four chord. Now, if you look in the key of F and you survey all of the um, chords, the four chord is going to be a major seven sound. So this is a dominant seventh sound. So as we, as we do this, uh, we'll make some changes here. All right, so why don't we clear these tones? All right, so we've got B flat. Let's spell out the the chord tones first. Okay, so you can see we have an A flat here. That's the flat seven. <clears throat> so that is uh, kind of changing our our key a little bit. All right, so um, let's fill in the rest of this. Let's go with a sharp 11. Um, just keep things close to our original uh, key signature here. All right, so we'll play that. Let's um, write out the chord that we're going to use. So we'll play B flat 7 there. So now we'll take a look at how uh, one chord moves to the next. So we're going to take the root note, go down by fifth. The third will descend by half step. That will become the flat seven. The seven will descend by whole step to the third. And in this case, we're having uh, a fifth here, so the whole step from nine to five. All right, so we get the B flat seven. So let's check out our, um, our next chord change. So for this, why don't I 
See if I can move this rotation here. Make a little space there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this we're going to write out an F, of course. But we're also going to start thinking about um, G minor. All right, so especially when we get to D7, but we can, um, we can also start thinking about this A minor as well. All right, so let's bring in the A. Okay, and um, clear these tones out again. So I'll uh, spell out the A minor seven chord. And then we'll uh, keep going from there. So um, I'm going to spell out Dorian here. And that's essentially because I'm seeing what's coming up here with this, uh, this two and the five. All right, so let's find voicing. All right, so the uh, B flat will descend by half step to A, so the root's going down by half step. The flat seven descends to the flat seven of our new chord, A minor. Third descends to the flat third of the A minor. And then the five descends to the five of the A minor. All right, so yeah, so we're calling that the two in G minor. And it's the three in F. All right, so let's go to D. So D is the six chord. in F and the five in G or G minor. All right, so this is, this is known as the secondary uh, dominant. So over here in the F category, we can say five of two. That's, that's its function. All right, so let's uh, bring up these notes here. So we have, uh, spell out the chord first. Okay, and then spell out mixolydian. All right, so we'll go with uh, this uh, D9. So the root will go up by fourth. The flat seven will descend to the third. The flat third will become the flat seven, and the five will become the nine. And you, you may even um, try to achieve a little extra here by possibly um, changing that to a, a flat nine. 
um, just to get a little, a little extra um, tension, if you like. You could also change this to flat 13. And likewise, um, you can make those changes to the uh, previous chord. All right, so um, let's look at G next. Let's see. So G is the two chord in F, and it's the uh, one. G minor. But at this point, we're, we're kind of moving on. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so we're going to start thinking about this mainly in F. All right, so we'll come up with the G. And we'll have a uh, G Dorian. Okay. You can also just think of this simply as a three, six, two, and five. All right, so let's take a look at the G minor. All right, so the fifth is going to, or the root is going to go down a fifth. The third will go down a half step. Flat seven will descend to the flat three. And uh, let's go, kind of go back to that nine again. So the nine will descend to the fifth. All right, so we have the uh, G minor seven. And next up, we'll look at C. So the C is the five chord in F, C7. Okay, so let's dial that in here. We have uh, root, third, fifth, and flat seven. All right, and uh, let's continue with the uh, mixolydian. That will give us key of F. All right, and then we'll have the C9 chord. So let's make those changes. So the root will go up a fourth. The flat seven will descend to the third. The uh, the third will become the flat seven, or the flat third will become the flat seven, and the five will become the nine. And again, you could do a lot with uh, dominant chords. So like we did before, you might create a little extra tension, resolving to F. All right, so let's move on to the last four measures. Right, so we're not going to F, actually, we're going to A minor. Um, so let's keep that nine just where it was. Um, so let's bring in the 
let's label this first. All right, so we've got F here. So basically have the same progression we had before. Okay. So we've got the three. So I'll spell that out first. All right, so we've got A minor. All right. Let's clear these out. So let's take a, a different approach this time. Um, I'm just going to keep everything as close to F as I can. All right, so um, so to do that, we'll get um, that and that. So this is basically F spelled out from A. So we have A Phrygian. All right, so we'll go back to this chord voicing. So the the root note will descend by minor third. The third will go up to the flat seven. The flat seven will go up to the flat third, and the nine will go up to the five. And so keep in mind that um, this is very closely related to, to F. All right, but we have the three. All right, so let's move to our next chord, D7. All right, so we'll call this the six. And we'll bring in, let's clear our tones again. We'll bring in the D. Let's get our chord going first. Flat seven. All right, so um, why don't we try this? Um, the scale here. So we'll play a flat 13 here. So what I'm doing here, changing this up a little bit from what, what we did um, a minute ago, since it's kind of the same progression. Um, so now the kind of the thing I'm doing here is just keeping this as close to F um, as I can. So that third is going to be in F sharp, so we don't actually have an F in this uh, scale right now. So we have a mixolydian scale with a flat 13. And that's one of the uh, modes of melodic minor. So uh, that would be G uh, melodic minor. All right, so let's spell out this chord. Okay, and then we're going to move the root up a fourth. The flat seven will descend to the third. The flat third will become the flat seven. And the nine, or the five will become the nine.
All right, so let's get to the uh, G minor. So this is our two. This is a circle of, of fifths progression. Three, six, two, five, one. Okay, so let's bring this in. So let's clear tones. So we've got um, G minor, so I'll spell the minor chord. Okay, and then I'm going to spell out Dorian. And that will give us F, the F uh, key of one flat key signature. All right, so the the fifth descend or the root rather will descend a fifth. The third will descend to the flat seven. The flat seven will descend to the flat third, and then the nine will descend to the five. Okay, and so now we're going to the C7. All right, so that's the five chord. All right, so I'll dial in the uh, root three and flat seven. And then I'm going to spell out mixolydian. And again, there are, there are other things you can, you can do here. All right. So the, let's see, I'll read out the voicing here. Root three, flat seven and nine. All right, so the root note, go up a fourth, flat seven, down a half step to the third, flat third becomes the flat seven, and then the five becomes the nine. All right, and then we're back to the one. All right, so we've got root third, five, major seven. We'll spell out Ionian here. And we'll play a major seven chord. All right, so the, the root goes down a fifth, third becomes the major seven, flat seven descends to the third, and the nine descends to the five. <clears throat> now this particular, um, uh, notation is is saying to play F6, which you could also do. So that would be like this. All right. Okay, and then we've got that... Um, Two five going back uh, to the beginning of the form. All right, great. So um, I hope you enjoyed this series on um, on this chord progression. So, so just keep in mind um, there are you know many other other options that you could do. You could embed other progressions, superimpose progressions, substitute progressions, substitute chords. Um, so I'm just giving kind of 
kind of an idea of some of some things that will be uh, pretty effective um, and and not overly complicated. So two of the approaches that I, I took that you may have noticed is uh, one is just to take a chord if if you leave the um, if you have some notes that are different than the, than the uh, tonic key, then keep the ones that are different in the in the chord and then try to make the chord scale um, as close as possible to F. So I, I did that a couple of times in these talks. And then the other thing is, is just to kind of see typical progression. So when you see uh, um, a 2-5, um, you know, you just kind of may tend to think in a certain, certain way. Um, so some some chords just kind of have a closely associated uh, mode that you can use. So in some circumstances, I I use that approach. So all right, well I uh, hope you really enjoy this series. I should be coming out soon with some pattern play-alongs on this. So uh, be sure to check that out. Um, Super motivated to um, build a community here and have uh, have a good amount of subscribers. YouTube has just uh, kind of up their requirements for uh, certain uh, benefits to the uh, having a channel. So um, I'd love to get up to a thousand uh, subscribers here soon. I'm somewhere around 450. Um, so any way you could help with that, out with that, that'd be great. Um, Invite uh, friends to check it out. All right, so um, so I hope you enjoy this again, and uh, remember to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Um, you can also get a little more in depth with things uh, by taking uh, a lesson with me online. And um, I guess that'll about do it for today. Thanks. <laughs>